So here we are in an alder stem that's been recently thinned. And you know, one of the great things you can do with material from thinning your forest is build wildlife habitat structures, in particular wildlife habitat piles and constructed down logs. See, two of the most important missing components for wildlife in second and, and third growth forests are standing dead snags and large down logs. And roughly about a third of the wildlife species in our forest depend on dead wood in the forest for part of their habitat needs. So we can partially replicate the function of these big down logs by creating habitat piles. And the perfect time to do that is when you pre-commercially thin your forest. All this material that's down on the ground is stuff that I thinned. And it's comprised really of kind of two basic components of, of woody material. You have these really fine branches and then you have these a uh, little bit larger diameter down logs. And both of those are key features to the wildlife habitat pile in particular. We're gonna show you how you can build a pile using those. Placement of the pile where you locate it is important to optimize wildlife habitat. Wildlife biologists will say that ideally, a habitat pile will be located within about 100 feet of any kind of surface water. It could be a stream, a wetland, and that way it'll provide a habitat for amphibians and other aquatic dependent species. The structure of the pile also is really important. You want to take the larger poles, like that, and use those to build the base of your pile. So what I've laid down here already is a combination of different sized poles. I'm just really using whatever I have. It doesn't all have to be the largest diameter. Really what's important is just to get some different gaps in there. And I'm going to put probably three or four layers like this. Ideally the whole dimensions of the pile are going to be about 10 feet wide and 6 feet tall. After you've piled up the large material, then you're going to start adding finer and finer branches on top. What this is going to do is create some small interstitial spaces underneath the pile where mammals and amphibians can get into. And then in those fine branches on top provides wonderful cover for small songbirds. So that's about it. It doesn't really take much to build these piles. And just to go back through it again, we've got the bigger pieces down at the bottom and we've graduated up to smaller pieces on top. And really, as long as you just aggregate a bunch of your branches and a bunch of your slash into a pile that's approximately 10 feet wide, approximately 6 feet tall, it's going to provide a good amount of habitat for a wide range of wildlife species. These are really fun to build. In fact, they're fun to do with your family, fun to do as a work party, and that's a great way to reduce the labor and get a lot more of these built in your forest.